the nearly 3 million cars on the road that a consumer group is warning could potentially burst into flames. Yeah, the Center for Auto Safety demanding a recall after reports that hundreds of Kias and Hyundais spontaneously caught fire. ABC's Ariel Reshef has more, including the response from the automakers. Ariel, good morning. Good morning to you guys. That consumer safety group claims they've received one non-collision fire report every day for four months regarding vehicles made by the two auto giants. Now the companies are pushing back against demands for that massive recall. This morning, automakers Kia and Hyundai facing demands by a consumer advocacy group to recall more than 2.9 million vehicles. The Center for Auto Safety now saying certain models from 2010 to 2015 may be at risk of a fire, citing they've received photos and videos like these from more than 220 consumer complaints. We found almost one report every single day of one of these vehicles catching on fire. Again, no crash, it's just driving down the road and catching on fire. Florida Senator Bill Nelson asking the government to identify and address any serious safety issues. The senator hoping to avoid incidents like this one in Florida back in May. Get away! Get away from it! Fire spewing from the bottom of this 2012 Kia Sorento. Driver Susan King narrowly escaping before the car is swallowed by flames. King later learning that car was part of a safety recall for an engine defect. As I'm walking away from it, I look behind me and then the whole thing is just engulfed in flames. I'm grateful to be alive and unharmed. In a statement, Kia Motors America questioning the safety group's methodology and analysis, but saying it recognizes consumer safety is paramount and is committed to addressing every thermal incident. Hyundai also pushing back, saying it searched for a defect and could not find one not already covered by an existing recall, adding, in the rare case of a fire that resulted from a potential product defect, Hyundai takes immediate action to have the vehicle inspected to determine the cause and works directly with the customer on a resolution. The problem is that recall didn't impact all three million of these vehicles, so it doesn't cover everyone. And some folks have had that recall repair still are having their car catch on fire. Both automakers insisting there are a number of factors that can cause a fire. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration tells ABC News it is investigating and that the petition for that massive recall remains under consideration. Both car companies are encouraging consumers, customers to report any issues immediately. And guys, we know you can also find more information at safecar.gov. You can go check out whether your maker model is, in, is affected by this recall. So important to do uh, that. Terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it really is. When you see the images from that, uh, it, it is terrifying. Know before you buy. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.